Hey, it's Jake Mace with jakemace.com and I'm here with Matthew Lee with the Tao of Kung Fu YouTube channel. I'm here in the beautiful botanical garden in Golden Gate Park, San Francisco, California. And we're gonna show you guys a sequence of tiger style Kung Fu and of crane style Kung Fu. Smash that thumbs up button and give me a like if you guys enjoy the backdrop for this video. So within the tiger style of Chinese Kung Fu, oftentimes we see this move where we bring one hand down and one hand shoots up like this, down, up, down, up, down, up. We also see a lot of moves while spinning, like spinning through, again, spinning through. So we're gonna combine these two moves together into a sequence against our attacker. If your attacker grabs you like a wrestler or an MMA guy would, like a collar tie, and they capture you inside here, I want you to use the move we just practiced. One hand comes down on the joint of the arm. The other tiger claw comes up under the chin. So we're coming down and up here. They collar tie you, bring this hand on it, and strike up underneath. And the important thing to do, there's two important things to do. Number one is hit this arm hard and create a slap and take their mind off the grab. <laughs> The other hand comes up and the wrist is locked back to give power to your hand. So spiking up this way. From there, I want you guys to take your left foot and step through the hole here, step through the hole, and then spin and bring your right leg through. And get their arm behind them, and then we'll add in a knee trap from the side, taking their knee down to the ground. Let's do it once a little bit faster. Okay, so the crane technique I'm going to do is going to be for a similar type of attack. That way you'll have a option. You can play with the tiger or you can do the crane. Maybe if one doesn't work, you can switch and the other energy of the other system mm. will work because a lot of times if you're strong with tiger but the other person's really powerful, that may not work. Your so opponent you can... your opponent could be immune to tiger or immune right. to crane. Yeah. Their resistance may be high to, so to one of the them. One. So you can switch the attitude or switch the the theory of movement with it and come up with a different solution for a similar attack. So the attack we're gonna do is going to be more shoulder and up with the hand, like like that whip type of motion. And then down strong, and as it comes down, it's going to roll into a side hand. And then we're gonna do a quick one-two movement, like a like a mm. short burst uh, uppercut almost mm -hmm. to the to the solar plexus, and then an opening of the wing. So it's gonna open up like an opening of the wing that way, and then here and hit and chop in. Let's see how it works against me. Okay, let's see. Tiger versus mm -hmm. crane. Same type of attack. Here, I have to use the shoulder and come up, and this hand's gonna come up to guard, and as I do that, I'm gonna just wing that up right into the temple, ear maybe, anywhere in there. And then down onto the collarbone, and right into the solar plexus, and then back into the neck. You can see, I don't necessarily have to take the hand off the, the neck. Hmm. I know where that weapon will be, so I can leave that weapon there and attack through that hole. Just let them have the neck. Yeah. So just take the power out of it with that move and strike in there just to get the attention, then start doing damage here. Nice, right through that. Once full speed? Full speed, okay. 